Well, Thanksgiving is the traditional start to the holiday shopping season, but there are already a lot of deals out there. Still, getting something for everyone on your list is often expensive. Jen Burke from the Maine Credit Union League joins us now live to tell us about how we should start shopping, how we can save money, and what we should do before we start. Hi, Jen. Hey there, have you started your holiday shopping yet? Well, does it count if you're buying for yourself? Because then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> but if you haven't started, the key to holiday shopping really is to not overspend. And the way to do that is to create a budget before you step into a store, before you go on Amazon and spend any money. Think about what you realistically can afford to spend this holiday season and stick to that budget. You don't wanna overspend, it's easy to, you know, but put a list together and really outline what all of your expenses are gonna be. And again, stick to the budget. You may have to cut some items off your list, it's hard to do, but you really don't wanna break the bank this holiday season. So once we have that budget set and we've committed ourselves to continuing to stick to it, how can we get the most bang for our buck? Well, first of all, when you see something on sale, if you walk into the Best Buy and there's a great deal on an air fryer, don't get it if it's not on your list. You know, just because something's on sale, you know, it doesn't mean you should go out and purchase it. That's a great way to go off budget and go off budget quickly. But this shopping season especially, consumers really need to shop around, both online and in-store. You want to make sure you're getting the most money, uh, the most for your buck this holiday season. Look at retailers return policies in case you have to return an item. And if you find the best deal online, make sure it's a valid retailer. You know, Amazon's done a great job cracking down on fake sellers, but they're still out there. So if you see a deal that's just simply too good to be true, chances are it is. So I'd stay away from those. Do your due diligence and do your homework and maximize your purchasing power. You know, use a credit card that offers you reward points or shop at a retailer that will give you incentives to come back and shop again. So really want to be smart with your money this holiday season. And if there's an item you can't quite purchase now, see if the store has a layaway program. Hmm, that's a very good tip. So we've been reporting a lot about the supply chain issues um, and sh starting shopping early, which often actually can, can save money. But the question really is, do these supply chain issues cause prices to go up? I mean, everything Absolutely. seems like more, it's more expensive now. Everything is more expensive right now. So, you know, it's, it's bad news for consumers that you probably are going to pay more for this shopping season to get the items you want, which is why sticking on a budget is so important. There might be items you just simply can't afford to buy this year. Um, and I also recommend taking a peek at gift cards. Gift cards hold their value and they're great gifts. You know, think about gas cards, cards to shopping stores, grocery markets. That may help out someone that you care for that you're buying a holiday gift uh, on their financial side themselves if you can help maybe pay for their gas or pay for their um, groceries. So there's a lot of options out there and yes, everything is more expensive unfortunately. So do your homework and shop around for the best deal. Yeah, you know, and sticking to that budget, I, I, I oh, see this meme definitely. on Instagram. Definitely, gotta stick to the budget. Yeah, the meme on Instagram is like, my, I, my mother deserves an island, but I'm just going to buy her a candle. <laughs> it is you what know, it is. <laughs> it is what it is, but I do believe there are some great deals to be had. And then don't forget, if you don't go out on Black Friday shopping, Small Business Saturday follows that on November 27th. Shop local. It's always good to help your, your Main Street uh, retailer, and it helps the economy, too. All right, Jen, thank you so much. Hopefully, we can uh, stick to that budget and we get everything on our lists at the same time. I sure hope so. Yeah. Thank right. you so much. Jen.